Hello and good day. Welcome to our studio. And I am your honorable presenter. My name is Providence Sebe. And well, today we're talking about a very, very important and vital issue in Nigeria. And this issue is no other than the value of education in Nigeria. We should really going by the way things are happening we don't know if the value of education is actually decreasing or increasing and actually this has left me wondering and i'm a bit worried so i decided to bring into our studio a very prolific educationist who happens to be the director of studies of providence international academy please mark introduce yourself You've introduced me already. Tell us your name, please. I am Dignes Mrs. Gloria Isebe, the Director of Studies of Providence International Academy. Thank you very much. You're very much welcome to the studio. Thank you. And we are glad to have you. So, Ma, let's start with the definition. What do you think is the meaning of education? What does it entail? Everything. We say education is the process of imparting knowledge, formally and informally. How do I mean? Education can be gotten from a classroom. It can also be gotten from the process of learning a skill. Learning a skill, learning in the classroom, they are all education. Thank you very much. So, you're telling us that education is literally getting people to get informed, getting people to impart knowledge. So that means education is very, very, very important in of every course, time. Of course, it is. So, like, how many percent does it take to be important? I would say hundred percent. So education is important 100 percent 100 percent so now looking at nigeria or looking at the world at large what do you think do you think the educational system is depreciating or actually increasing hmm. what is going on in our society today i would say education is depreciating okay so why would you say education is depreciating Okay. I did say that education did change because back in the 70s, 80s, even to 90s, children in schools, even elementary schools, when you meet with them, what they will do with Marvel? You will see a child of primary three. Back then, we write a letter. That these days, even children in JSS, SS, they can't even make correct sentence. Is it in university? A lot of them are graduates. But most of them can't even spell their name. Not to talk of making correct sentence. Let me tell you this. I want to shock you. They have you may have heard of it. Back there in Bini City, when Oshomole, Adam Oshomole, was the governor there, there was a lady who happened to be a headmistress in one of the schools there. Information got to the governor that this so-called headmistress could not read a headmistress of a school, heading a school, heading teachers. Heading pupils could not read, and this lady was brought. You see the funniest thing? The affidavit that she swore by herself, she could not read it. Wow. Adam Oshomole asked her to read. She was with the affidavit, and she was, instead of her to say, I, Josephine, which she swore, she was saying, Wow. Josephine, yes, yeah, Josephine is her name. <laughs> she could not read further. 
and she was disgraced by the government. So tell me, how does that head mistress got to that position of being a head mistress? And what did she have to impact into the children? She has nothing to offer practically. And how do you think that those children will come out brilliantly they have to defend whatsoever they have learned or their certificate? You tell me that the academic system of Nigeria has actually depreciated. It's not even depreciating, no, it has depreciated. It has depreciated. Okay. So, what do you think is the cause of this depreciation? The cause? One is nepotism. Yes, one is nepotism. How did that woman got to that place? Nepotism. He had her own her brother, her husband, not somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. And calls were made. And she found herself there when she ought not to be there. Then, another reason why school system is depreciated. Teachers are not being paid. Three months, most especially in Delta states, Teachers are not being paid three months, sometimes more than that. Then you see them going on strike, and when they go on strike, the children go home. No more learning, no more education. Tell me, if the family, where the husband and the wife are teachers, what do they fall back on? When salaries are not being paid, you see that even during school hours, they just want to declare the, their office, sign in, and they go after their daily job. Where they will get food? When they will be able to take care of their families? Then when it is closing time, they come and sign out. Then when they live like that, no one is there to lecture the children or teach the children. Then at the end, we have wayward children everywhere. Children that cannot defend their certificates. When it's time to write exams, exam, examination and practice become the order of the day. You see them with very good results, which they cannot de defend. What do you call that? So the government is the problem that we have in this nation and children. So everything boils down to the government. The government. So what do you say about a situation where, by like in the higher institution, where lecturers purposely bring down the grades of students just because maybe they were not blocked, they were not bribed for different courses, or because maybe a female um, student refused to have an, uh, let me say, an affair with the lecturer. Corruption. So, okay. Corruption still boils down to salary. Their salaries are not paid. They want to take tips from the children in order to be able to meet up. The corruption that has been rampaging in our education system today, that is where you will see lecturers that want to sleep with the female students in order to give them good grades. Not that the, the students actually got that grades. Some of these guests, they don't read. Because the lecturers are there. They will use what they have to get what they want. So by this, do you mean um, this slogan of propaganda carried out by youth students all over Nigeria that, uh, okay, it's actually quoted this way, last, last, school last car. Do you think it's really, really true well, I will disagree to it. They have to agree. Because what is scam? Scam is a fraudless deal, like a basement. Who does a basement has anything to do with school? Who is being embezzled here? Who is being embezzled? 
So, what do you think is the possible solution to this mess caused by the government? The solution is this. The government should go back to the drawing board. They should think back of what has happened in the educational system in the past. When children can come back and defend their certificates. And how will they actualize that? Salaries of teachers will be paid. Okay. All form of corruption should be uh, 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 discouraged. Then, jobs should be created. Because when these children, when they graduate from the university, they need jobs. You see a lot of our youth today riding Okada, graduates riding Okada. So these jobs are created. Teachers, lecturers are being paid. They die out of nepotism. Should be stopped at all costs. The art of using your body to get what you want should be discouraged. If these things can be put in place, then we will have a good educational system. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for being really enlightened. Us. I hope this happens to be a message to the government. Please, you really need to work or look into this matter. Pay our teachers and lecturers well, appropriately, very well, when time is due. And also, put an end to nepotism and tribalism. And not just that, lastly, you should learn to create jobs for our upcoming graduates. Please, Nigeria needs this to survive the academic situation of Nigeria. Thank you very much. A wimbo we, 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 Jumbo, the mighty jumbo, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jumbo.